What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video and today I'm going to be going over how to pick the right shotgun shell for your hunt. Before I get things started, I want you guys to kind of take a look. I've got some stuff working back here. I got my gun rack mounted. I got the Mallard Pro sign hung up there and then I got that picture my grandma painted for me. You guys probably can't see it super well, but it's, it's Mallard Drake and Mallard Hand. I think it's looking pretty good. Like I said before, if you guys want to send anything to be put up on this wall, just send it to my P.O. Box. Uh, I've got the address listed in the description of this video. So when you walk into pretty much any store that sells shotgun shells, you're going to notice a few things. One, there's a lot of different brands. And two, there's a lot of different types of shells. And so there's some things on the boxes that you need to take a look at so then you know you're getting the right shotgun shells for your gun and for the animal or whatever thing you're trying to shoot because you're not gonna wanna shoot double BBs at a dove. So you wanna, you wanna make sure you're getting the right shells for the purpose. The number one biggest thing that you need to look for is gauge. Uh, you guys probably can't, it's too shiny. There we go. 12 gauge, so if I have a 12 gauge shotgun, I want to get 12 gauge shells. I don't want to get 20 gauge shells or 16 gauge shells because it's going to be too small. You want to make sure you get the right gauge for your gun so then you don't have problems because you don't want to put the wrong shells into the wrong guns. It's just a recipe for disaster. So I'd recommend making sure you get the 12 gauge if you have a 12 gauge or a 20 gauge, you have a 20 gauge. The next thing that you need to look at on the box is the length of the shell. So this one right here, this one says three and a half inches. This one says three inches and this one says two and three quarter inches. So this is important to know because different guns have different chamber lengths. So there's three and a half inch chambers, three inch chambers, and I believe there's two and three quarter inch chambers. I've never seen one. I've only seen three and a half and three inch. So I could be wrong there, but there could possibly be two and three quarter inch chambers out there, especially in older guns. It's important to know the chamber size in your gun so then you can buy the right shotgun shells. So if I have a three and a half inch chamber like in my Winchester SX4 up there, I can shoot the three and a half inch, I can shoot the three inch, and I can shoot the two and three quarter inch. But if I have the three inch chamber like the other two guns up there, the Mossberg and the Hooglu, then I can only shoot the three inch and the two and three quarter inch. If I try and put this in there, it won't work and it's just a bad idea to try and make it fit because the chamber is a specific length. So always remember to load the right shells in your gun. I can't emphasize that enough. I, I think they, they go over that in hunter safety class for a reason. It's just common sense people, so don't be stupid. There's a lot of controversy out there in the duck hunting community with three and a half inch shells and three inch shells. If somebody wants to shoot three and a half inch shells, I don't care. If somebody wants to shoot three inch shells, I don't care. If somebody wants to only shoot two and three quarter inch shells, I don't care. It, it's all personal preference. I can tell a difference when I'm shooting three and a half inch double Bs over three inch double Bs at big honkers in late season. Just having more pellets on the, on the pattern, it, it helps. But most of the time, it really doesn't make a huge difference. I've had times where I'm hunting farm ponds and I had two and three quarter inch four shot shells and I was folding ducks all day just like I was shooting three inch two shot. So it's all about the distances that you're hunting, how much plumage the birds have, and you know how good of a shot you are. So pay attention and make sure you get the right length of shells. But I would recommend if you're going duck and goose hunting, three and a half inch or three inch shell. Two and three quarter inch, that'll do, but I'd recommend the three inch. So moving on, we got the shot size now, and this is an important thing that you need to know for when you're going hunting. There's, it goes from nine shot all the way up to uh, triple B and then buckshot sizes. But for the most part, when you're going duck and goose hunting, you're gonna be shooting four to triple B, okay? I would recommend for geese shooting double Bs or two shot if you can't find double Bs. And then for ducks, four and two shot. So anywhere from four to double B will get the job done with ducks and then two to double B will get the job done with geese. I don't know about four shot on geese, never tried it, but I've shot two shot and killed them and I've shot double Bs and killed them. So anywhere in that range, I've heard one shot's a very popular shot size. I can never seem to find it, but um, I've heard a lot of great things about one shot. When you're going dove hunting or quail hunting, you're gonna want a smaller size shot since it's a smaller size bird, but it's a little bit weird with the shot sizes because the smaller size of the shot, the bigger the number on the box is. So eight shot, that's pretty universal for shooting skeet, doves, quail, 
different things like that, eight shot or seven and a half shot. Those are the two that you're gonna use when you're shooting doves and quail and skeet and squirrels or whatever. Just your universal cheap $5 box of shells lead shot. You wanna make sure when you're hunting ducks and geese too that you're, you're buying steel shot. You don't wanna buy lead shot because that's illegal. So make sure you're using non-toxic shot. It doesn't have to be steel. You can use tungsten or heavy shot or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's non-toxic shot. That's very important. Once you've got your shot sizes figured out, double B, two shot, four shot for ducks and geese, then your smaller shot, six shot for pheasants. And I like to use six shot for teal as well. So, you know, I kind of use everything out there. It just kind of depends. Generally speaking, the bigger the bird you're hunting, the smaller number shot size or moving up into double B's and triple B's. So it's a little confusing, but you'll, you guys will figure it out eventually. The last thing to look at is the ounce of shot on the box. Generally, I don't take a super hard look at it. I don't really care a whole lot, but some people do. So the one and one quarter ounce, that's the 12 gauge, three and a half inch double B but the one and one eighth ounce is the 12 gauge three inch double B. So there's a one eighth ounce more shot in the three and a half inch than in the three inch. So if you want a little bit more hit with your shot, make sure you get a little bit more weight to it. Most of the time you're gonna be shooting one and one eighth ounce or one and a quarter ounce for ducks and geese. Uh, it really doesn't vary from that. One and one eighth ounce is pretty much all all over the board as just kind of what you shoot. I hope this video helps you guys figure out what shells to get for your shotgun when the hunting season comes around. So come dove season, two and three quarter inch eight shot or seven and a half shot, that's gonna be perfect for doves. Teal season, three inch six shot or two and three quarter inch six shot, that'll get the job done perfectly fine. And then come duck season, I recommend three inch two shot or three inch four shot and then goose, uh, three and a half inch double B's or three inch double B's or even one and two shot. It doesn't really matter, but I, I personally prefer shooting double B's at geese. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every single week and hunting season's coming up, so things are about to get pretty fun around here. But that is all I've got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one.